Do your product and service launches keep falling flat? Launching a new product or service is always exciting as it leads to potential company growth. There is always the possibility, however, that a new service or product falls flat. This is where conducting market research before committing to an expansive and often expensive rollout comes in handy. I'm Alex, and in today's video, we'll discuss why concept testing survey questions are important and some of the most essential questions you should be asking. Let's go. One of the most effective ways to ensure a new product or service isn't a waste of time or money is to craft concept testing surveys. Polling customers with these types of questions minimizes the risks associated with innovation and change. So how does a concept testing survey work? Essentially, no matter how informed a company is about its consumers, a product is only going to be successful if the customer says it is. What works on paper may not exactly translate in reality when consumers are involved. So, concept testing gives you the feedback you need to refine your offering and address potential issues before your new launch. Concept testing surveys can be useful in several ways. They can help you enter into new markets, forecast future sales on a new product, benchmark price points, and help you decide between different product concepts or branding. After conducting your survey, you'll compile the customer responses and deduct the level of purchase intent you can expect from your customers at launch. From there, you can decide whether or not your new offering should go to market. Now that you know the benefits of concept testing surveys, let's discuss the four questions you should include in each concept survey you conduct. And to really knock your survey out of the park, pair these with questions that are more specific to your product. When all is said and done, you'll have an excellent idea of how your market will react to a launch. How likely are you to purchase this product or service? If you could only choose one question to put on your survey, it should be this one. Other questions can help you refine your results and provide you with more granular feedback, allowing you to make minor changes to your launch. Ultimately, however, this question gathers product purchase intent which is the most important metric when determining if a consumer will be interested in your new offering. Is this product or service worth the proposed price? Asking this question will help you understand just how much people are willing to pay for your offering before you can be certain of your product's sellability. After all, a good product that costs more than it's worth can be as much of a failure as a product that's poorly made. Responses gathered from this question will help you determine the price range your new offering should be set at in order to successfully draw in customers at launch. What is one thing you like and one thing you dislike about this product? This question is great at gauging what's working and what needs improvement. Having both positive and negative feedback on your offering gives you helpful insights into what to change down the line. For example, if respondents with high purchase intent all list the same positive, then it's a good idea to emphasize that feature in your future marketing. If respondents with low purchase intent all list the same negative, then this can shed some light on what may need addressing before moving forward with the launch. Would you recommend this product to a friend? Recommendations are everything, and this question gives you great insight into whether or not your new offering will succeed. People are social creatures, and their reputations are important to them. If a customer has high purchase intent and would recommend the product to others, you've likely got a winner on your hands. Now you know the four key questions you should be including in all your concept testing surveys. But simply knowing which questions to ask isn't going to get you the feedback you need. You have to make sure your survey is accessible and as easy to use as possible. This is where JotForm comes in. Utilizing JotForm can help ensure that your product concept testing is a success. You can build your own survey from scratch, or if you'd rather streamline your process, simply use one of JotForm's concept testing survey templates. They're ready to use and can be easily customized to fit your needs. Another survey pro tip, you can also try offering prizes or coupons for customers who decide to give feedback. Concept testing surveys are the key to success when launching a new product or service. You'll be better informed in regard to product development and design, so when it comes time to launch, you're more likely to be successful. Let's review. 
Here are four questions you should be including in your concept testing surveys. First, ask how likely your customers are to purchase the item. Then, ask the customers if they feel like the new offering is worth the proposed price. Next, ask for one thing that they like and dislike about the new offering. Last, ask if they'd personally recommend this new offering to a friend. Until next time, I'm Alex with Jotform. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more Jotform videos.